Carrie Katona has addressed a double standard in the entertainment industry, claiming that the way she has been treated is different to that of others like Ed McPartlin. The reality TV star, 42, shared her thoughts during a recent interview to promote her new memoir Whole Again, Love, Life and Me, My Story, which was released last month. It saw her discuss her how mental health struggles are portrayed, with Carrie saying she is judged massively differently because she's a woman and because of her upbringing, for example. She suggested Teresa double standard in the industry, making a comparison between the way that she's been portrayed, to the way presenter and, 46, has been treated. Carrie, who has been open about battling drug addiction in the past, told Greatest Hits radio host Jackie Brambles, 55, that she applauds Ant's recovery from addiction, with her adding that the TV presenter is doing amazing. She however said, Ant had his own issues, when he crashed his car, in 2018, it was a big, big story yet 8 months later has winning awards and it's all forgotten about. The mother of five suggested that she hasn't necessarily been able to get rid of her association with substance abuse though, saying one incident is still talked about to this day. She said on the radio show, how many years later, from my this morning interview where I was accused of being drunk on air, and were still talking about it with me. Carrie said she's put in a box because she's a woman, a mother and didn't go to Sylvia Young Theatre School. She also said growing up on a council estate has affected her portrayal. She added, I feel like I've been a beacon, got the beating for a lot of people but that is how women in this industry get treated. Carrie has spoken in the past about being ridiculed over her This Morning interview from 2008. She was accused of being drunk or on drugs as her speech was slurred. She has however continually asserted that it was due to her medication. She reiterated on GB News earlier this year, My speech was really slurred due to my bipolar medication. I'll admit I've done drugs, I'll admit I've drank. I've done all that. I've been clean 13 years. I have no reason to lie, she further commented during the interview with the broadcaster. And has experienced substance abuse in the past, including problems with prescription medication and alcohol. He pleaded guilty to drink driving following a car crash in March 2018. Do you enjoy reading about celebrities? Sign up for all the best celeb news from the mirror here. The incident, which had occurred in London, led to a four-year-old child being hospitalized. It emerged that he had been twice the legal limit when he crashed his vehicle. He was fined £86,000 and banned from driving for 20 months. He apologized for his behavior in a statement at the time, saying he was ashamed and mortified. Ant said he had problems with alcohol and emotional issues. His defense barrister Liam Walker said that Ant had suffered a brief relapse at the time of the incident. He added that his client had struggled to come to terms with the breakup of his marriage to his now ex-wife Lisa Armstrong, 46. Ant checked into a rehab facility shortly after the incident, with a spokesperson saying at the time that he would step down from work commitments to seek treatment. Amid his recovery, he was absent from TV projects for the rest of the year. This included being replaced on Emma Celebrity by Holly Willoughby, 41, and a series of Saturday Night Takeaway being scrapped for 2019. And however returned to work alongside his presenting partner Declan Donnelly, 47, on Britain's Got Talent in 2019.
Listen to Carrie Katona speak to Jackie Brambles on the Greatest Hits Radio app and website. Head to Greatest Hits Radio. Co.uk for more. Do you have a story to sell? Get in touch with us at Web Celebs at Mirror. Co.uk or call us direct 0207 29